One thing we really love about the unit is the portability of the unit. It has four swivel casters. It can easily be moved from, from one workstation to another workstation. You know, when you're done making that weld, it's easy to get it out of there. And then that leads into the adjustability of the unit. There are nine different axes of adjustment. So that gives it the ability to, to get into tight places and make tough welds. Uh, looking at the ways that it adjusts, it adjusts up and down. The, the body moves up and down the main column. Then we also have a rotating pivot point there on the body that goes around the main column. Then we can see the boom extends in and out. Then moving up to the head, the head rotates 180 degrees. And we have the two linear motion portions of it there that are the x-axis and the z-axis, both having six inches of travel. Then we moving to the gun holder itself, the gun holder arm actually has a pivot point in the center that has 180 degrees of motion. Then it moves at 180 degrees at the top of the head. And then you have at the gun holder itself, 360 degrees of, of motion there. So there's nine different axes of, of, of adjustment. The, the neat thing about that is that it kind of tying in with the portability. You can manipulate it in there to make a weld close to the, to the, uh, you know, the pinwheel face, just like we're showing right here. Then you can just pull it right out, make your adjustments, move it around, and make another weld without ever tearing down your setup, without ever having to move your part. Basically, this manipulator goes to the part. Then there's the strength and the stability of the unit that we demonstrate here with uh, these two 25-pound plates hanging 50 pounds off of that gun holder with the boom extended out as far as it can go. The MM SAM-1 gives you three axes of user control motion for precision weld control. You have the up and down, six inches of travel, side to side, six inches of travel, in and out. Basically with each grab you got two inches of stroke. Um, just a little bit of a note on the, on the linear guides here. One turn of the handle produces three-eighths of an inch of motion.